Hello everyone, welcome to the security channel. In this video, we are going to take another problem from Singapore Mass Olympiad. It's from 2013. In this problem, we have 1 over sine of theta minus 1 over cosine of theta equals to a square root of 13 over 6. We are going to find what we have for 1 over tan of theta minus tan of theta. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this interesting problem. We will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with the equation that we got. It has sine of theta and cosine of theta. But remember the identity that we have for sine of theta and cosine of theta includes power of 2 of sine of theta and cosine of theta. So we are going to start by taking power of 2 of both sides. If we do this, on the left hand side we are going to end up with 1 over sine squared of theta plus 1 over cosine 2 of theta minus 2 times 1 over sine of theta times 1 of cosine of theta. It equals to 13 over 6 to the power of 2. Now let's simplify the equation a little bit further. We are going to use sine of theta cosine of theta to the power of 2 as the common denominator. On the other hand, if we want to simplify it, we can use sine of theta to the power of 2 plus cosine of theta to the power of 2 equals to 1. If we do this, at the end, we're going to end up with 1 minus 2 sine of theta cosine of theta over sine of theta cosine of theta to the power of 2 equals to 13 over 36. Now notice that we have sine of theta cosine of theta in top and bottom of this fraction. We're going to use k to represent that. Then 1 minus 2k over k to the power of 2 equals to 13 over 36. This is a quadratic equation. If we want to simplify it, we can find that k can be negative 6 or 6 over 13. Now we need to know which one of these are correct. Of course, sine of theta times cosine of theta cannot be negative 6 since the maximum possible value that we can have for sine and cosine are 1. So that's not acceptable. On the other hand, we have 6 over 13 as a possible case for sine of theta times cosine of theta. Now remember what we are going to find. We want to find 1 over tan of theta minus tan of theta. Here, we are going to use another identity. Remember sine of 2 theta can be represented as 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. We already have sine of theta cosine of theta, so we can say that sine of 2 theta can be written as 12 times 13. Now let's go back and see what we can do with 1 over tan of theta minus tan of theta. If we write what we have for tan of theta, then we can simplify it and write it as cosine of theta over sine of theta minus sine of theta over cosine of theta. Then we are going to use sine of theta times cosine of theta as the common denominator. And then what we are going to do is we are going to have cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta over sine of theta times cosine of theta. From here, we are going to benefit from what we got for sine of 2 theta. Basically, we know that sine of 2 theta is 12 over 13. 
And we also know that cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta can be written as cosine of 2 theta. We have sine of 2 theta and cosine of 2 theta can be represented as a squared root of 1 over sine squared of 2 theta. Then we are going to replace what we have for sine of 2 theta and then at the end if you simplify everything you see that the final answer is going to be 5 over 13 over 6 over 13 or 5 over 6 and that's our final answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and olympiads please subscribe to this channel this is the sqrt channel see you in the next video